Hey everyone, I'm really excited about this. Take a look. We're going to try to replicate this with a new assistant I built called Live Assist. This is a Pygame window where I can draw lines and these little walls actually interact with them. Take a look and you can do it in real time. It's pretty cool. I've been meaning to make a video about this. It's pretty experimental right now, but let's see how it works. The code files for it will be available at Patreon, as always. Firstly, I'm going to start our live assist by calling it. And now this live assist is waiting for changes in our main.py file. This was just a copy of something I built that I saved right with the Pygame. So I can actually write comments here. I'm just going to say create a Pygame drawing app which draws lines. And after that, all I have to do is add in triple, just three hashtags comment the rest of it was copilot trying to uh, and it detects the change as you can see change detected and now it's writing some code we're just going to wait for it to finish i think we're almost done it's about done and our code should appear here shortly okay here we go uh, let's run this to run it i'm actually going to come over here and go to split terminal and create a new command prompt and it's still Live assist is actually still listening for changes. I'm going to run the main.py file. Let's see if this works. Uh, currently, it doesn't work, so I'm going to make a new comment. It's going to say, allow me to draw lines and make uh, three comment marks, and it's going to start writing again. I'm just going to wait for this to finish. Okay, we have our new code. Let's run it. And now it's drawing, allowing me to draw lines. That's great. Let's make a new comment. If you're enjoying my content, you can find all my videos at echohive.live. Link will be in the description. And the code file for Live Assist will be available at Patreon. Link is in the description. So let's talk about the comment I made. Let's just start the update process. I just said allow right click to add circles. Let's add gravity and collision between the floors, circles, and the lines. FPA is 60 because I just happen to know if you don't do it, then gravity just doesn't work right with my game because you're defined gravity constant, right? And if you have this updates every time the frame refreshes. And so it's it's a good idea to limit the frames per second. Let's see what it comes up with. So uh, by the way, this is pretty complex and we might have to try it a few times. It's unlikely that we get, this is going to get it right the first time around. Okay, we got our new code. Let's cross our fingers and run it. See what happens. Okay, we are able to make balls. Oh, okay. Actually, it did kind of work the first time around. Well, I'm surprised, but as you can see, it's not following the curvature of the line. Let's make a new comment to try to fix it. I'm just going to say circles should slide off the curves of the lines. I guess I'm not sure what is the best way to do it. Uh, I detected our change and it's going to write the code. While it's doing that, I just would like to talk about uh, the, another app I built, CodeHive, which contains uh, over 900 GPT powered Python applications. These are uh, simple chat applications. You can actually browse through it. If you like, if you see something you like, you can just copy it and paste it in your IDE and just run it. And you can, if you do like it, you can also download all of the, all 900 applications for $100 currently at my Patreon. There you have it. Okay, it's the code is still being written. I'll be back when it's done. So when the code finishes, it automatically updates and writes it to the main.py file. So that's what we're waiting on. Okay, the new code is ready. Let's run it again. Okay, the balls are working. The lines are, oh, wow. I'm actually surprised because I had to try a few few times for this to work before. So just so you know, for this example I showed you in the beginning of the video, I had to try four or five times. But this works well for the most part. It's not working perfectly, but we can actually give it additional instructions. So Live Assist works like this, right? I put in some instructions. If you do download the code from Patreon, you install the requirements around Live Assist, write comments or doc strings, wherever in the code, and then write uh, triple hashtags to get GP to write and rewrite the code for you. It'll automatically update main.py. This is still an experiment for me. I'm still working on it, but I'll put it on Patreon anyway. I hope you enjoy this, and I'll see you in the next video.